Hi, this is Sarah from the Highland Center for Natural History. Today I join you from amongst the granite boulders and the juniper trees of our central highlands. And as I reflect on the science of water and how beautiful I think that is, I am reminded of all the ways that people have used water to express themselves through art. And so today I wanted to share with you a simple and meaningful way that you can do this at home. This may not look like much, but this is a canvas that I set out during the last time it rained here. Along the rim, I put watercolor. I walked away, and when I came back, what I saw was an expression of that day's rain. And this means a lot to me because it reminds me of how grateful I am for the last month's precipitation that we've received here. But you don't have to wait until the next time it rains to try this. Here's another canvas that I've been working on over the last week or so. Initially, I put ice on the canvas and watched as the ice melted in the watercolor and moved around. Then I experimented with different drips at different angles. So you can try this at home and use the science if you want or not. You can use colors from the junipers or rocks or not. Really, whatever you want to do to use water to express yourself through watercolor paint. And as always, please share your artwork with us. My opinion is that this is always more fun when it's done out in the fresh air. So thank you for joining me for today's fresh air moment. I'm Sarah from the Highland Center for Natural History. I hope to see you soon.